Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. In this week's episode I want to talk about TypeScript Nightly. Visual Studio Code plugin that's really interesting for me that I have installed that. I'm gonna to explain to you why it's useful, why you could use that and um, yeah maybe uh, it, it, it will help you in your further development with TypeScript. So there is a plugin JavaScript and TypeScript Nightly and it enables TypeScript at Next to power Visual Studio Code's built-in JavaScript and TypeScript support. Right. So let's go to Visual Studio Code. So imagine you have a project like this. You have installed uh, TypeScript, right? Well, what you could do then is just go here, click on it, say select TypeScript version, and you have here use for Visual Studio Code version and use workspace version, right? Uh, the workspace version is the one that you have installed, and of course, that's what the one that we're going to use because, of course, that's the version where uh, your TypeScript code will be running against. Um, uh, something that you also could do is do this dino version. Uh, and then you see here that our TypeScript version on uh, on uh, Dino or Dino um, is 4.9.4, so that's great, right? But maybe you don't want to install that, you don't want to have that package.json, package log, you just want to have an index.ts and you want to run it here. And yeah, you want to have the latest version. Well, with uh, selecting version and then here use Visual Studio Code version, you got the latest uh, nightly build of uh, TypeScript, right? And again, if you go here, you will see here that this is the plugin that you need to install for that. Of course, um, you, you don't need all the features there, but it's, it's, it's great. One of the things that you could do is then see uh, or experiment a little bit with the new features of TypeScript. Of course, you cannot run TypeScript then directly because you need to have a runtime and uh, uh, Dino or in your Node.js project, you need to install a TypeScript uh, version. And yeah, that will be, uh, for example, in this case, 4.9.4, which is the latest uh release version and not of the nightly built uh the development build of the typescript uh project but again for me it's a it, it's it's a great plugin to play around a little bit to see oh this is coming into typescript i'm gonna test it out i'm gonna see what it does a little bit uh, i get some uh, intelligence around that i get some validation around that from from typescript and i don't need to uh, install typescript on uh into my folder as a node module right so I hope you enjoyed it. I will leave uh, this plugin uh, link into the description below. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my videos, well, please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Thank you very much. See you next time.